and welcome to Laurie Fay Art. Today I am doing a pet portrait of a poodle. Her name is Smudge. Smudge has passed away sadly and her mum got me to do a couple of portraits of her. This one is when she was younger. When she got sick her looks changed quite dramatically so we did another one and that picture of her as she got older and when she got sick is actually on my banner for my channel. So Smudge being a poodle is very curly coated. I started off by just mapping out where I wanted the colours to be and where the highlights and the lower lights were and it's really very vague and looking at it you think wow is that ever going to turn into a dog? It just looks a bit like a chocolate blob. But anyway I keep working away until I get these layers to where I want them in tonal value. I've always done it this way where I do a bit of an underpainting and have my outline and my a bit of a plan. I've got the reference photo obviously up there for you to see and I'm watching flicking backwards and forwards at the picture and, and trying to figure out if I'm happy with the distance of where the eyes are, if I'm happy where the nose is, the length of the snout. When I'm happy with that, that's when I start going in with the darker tones. It looks very blobby and very strange I guess but you have to get those tones down before you put anything over the top because obviously once there's something curly or something you know as you're doing their curly coat or if you're doing the detail you can't get back in there to put the tones underneath and oils is really good for that you can really put one layer down wait for it to dry and these layers probably a couple of days in between and you can wait for it to dry and then you can come back with white if you want to and put that over the top you have to be aware of those tones but it works I don't know how but it's like magic I love oil paints I've been doing oils for a very long time they they're my go-to if I want to be in a comfort zone and to be honest if someone said to me oh write down everything that you do to actually get a a pet portrait done I probably couldn't do it because a lot of it is just intuitive and it just comes naturally for me I guess it would be really difficult for me to just put down all the steps I really enjoy it because the, the paints really it's quite a definite color it, where you put the paint and what you do is very definite with it it's not going to move anywhere unless you move it that's the difference I guess with oils and watercolor which is strange because I love both but very differently I tend to blend a lot to start with and as we get further in to doing the finer detail the blending gets less and less because we're looking for the sharp more defined line so anyway I'm gonna let you carry on watch as I continue painting the eyes are really important oh that's one thing I did change with the eyes they were quite receded and set back in the photo I always ask for a heap of different uh, reference photos because that really helps me pick and choose the areas of the dog that I really want to bring out and with this particular one I don't get me wrong she's very cute in the picture but I just wanted her eyes to be more expressive because her hair's shadowing the eyes in the photo can't really see them very well so I had another photo there that had a better look at her eyes and I used that instead for my reference so the client was very happy, I was very happy with how it turned out. So I'll let you finish watching with some music and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. 